Fiona, how much do nurses make in Dubai? Fiona, how much does a nurse assistant make in Dubai? Can you tell me how much I will earn if I come to Dubai and work with a license as a nurse assistant or registered nurse? I've had thousands and hundreds of these kind of questions. And yes, we are going to answer that, that, those questions for you in this video today. Welcome to my channel. I am Agbo Fiona, registered nurse working in Dubai, originally from Cameroon. I have a master's degree in nursing sciences from Cameroon. And I'm here today to enlighten you about the salary ranges for nurses and nurse assistants with licenses in UAE at large. If you're joining us for the first time, we are here on this channel to enlighten and to direct you on how you can get a license, which is your passport to work in Dubai, in UAE at large, as a licensed personnel. If you're new, kindly like our videos, subscribe to our channel because you will definitely like it here. And don't forget to share our videos to those who might be interested in coming to Dubai to work as a nurse. To all our returning subscribers, we are super grateful for pushing us, for requesting videos, and for making us make videos even when it's not convenient for us. We appreciate each and every one of you. So in this video today, we'll be talking about the salary ranges for nurses and nurse assistants in the different Emirates in Dubai. We'll also be talking about the shift system in the UAE and the pros and cons of working in the United Arab Emirates as a registered nurse or nurse assistant. Stay tuned to the end of this video. You don't want to miss any of these facts we are going to explain in these videos today. The salary a nurse or nurse assistant earns in Dubai depends on five main factors. One, your qualification. Two, your position. Three, the specialty area you're working in. Four, the type of facility you're working in, public or private. And five, and what they will never tell you, is your nationality. The passport you hold depends on how much you earn as a nurse or nurse assistant. These are the five factors that influence the average nursing salary in the United Arab Emirates. Now, without wasting any much time, the, the United Arab Emirates has seven emirates, like I mentioned earlier. And these seven emirates are divided into three health organizations. So the amount of salary a nurse earns differs slightly in seven of these emirates. So we are going to talk about the salary ranges for the three health organizations, the three health licensing bodies in these emirates. Beginning with the Ministry of Health, which covers five Emirates, Sharjah, Ashman, Um al Kuin, Rasakaima, and Fujaira. Here, nurses earn approximately five thousand to five approximately five thousand to seven thousand five hundred dirhams per month, which is about one thousand four hundred to about two thousand four hundred US dollars per month. These amounts are just averages. It could be a bit higher, it could be a bit less. It's just an average. It's just to give you an idea. It's not fixed. The Department of Health of Abu Dhabi regulates nursing licensure for nurses in Abu Dhabi. Their pay ranges from about 7,000 dirhams to about 10,000 dirhams. This is the capital, so the pay is a bit higher than in other Emirates. Yeah. So this amount is equivalent to about 2,000 to about $2,700 per month. And the third nursing regulating body, the Dubai Health Authority, which is where so many people are interested in coming, their pay salary ranges from about 5,800 dirhams to about 9,000 dirhams per month. This is equivalent to about 1,600 US dollars to about 2,800 US dollars per month. For a nurse assistant in the whole of United Arab Emirates, the salary range is approximately the same and it ranges from about 4,000 
to about 6,500 dirhams per month. This is approximately equal to about $1,090 to about $1,800 per month. These salaries will vary with respect to exactly where you are, the facility you're working in, the position you hold, the passport you are carrying, yes, and the qualification you possess. So this is roughly an estimate of how much nurses and nurse assistants earn in the UAE, and they are liable to change because they are just averages. Now, what is the shift system in the UAE like? Generally, the working hours here are a bit longer compared to what you typically see back home. But still, it depends on where you work for sure. So here, you work for approximately 48 hours per week with about one to two days off. Some, in some systems, you work eight hours per day. Others, you have nine hourly shifts. Others, you have 10 hourly shifts or even 12 hourly shifts. So you can have these long shifts to deal with depending on where you're working. So this is just to give you a global idea, please. It's not fixed, it's not static. It's just to give you a global idea of what to expect if you want to come to UAE to work as a registered nurse or nurse assistant. What are the advantages and disadvantages or the pros and the cons of working in the UAE as a licensed nurse or nurse assistant? Oh, let's start with the advantages, the pros. <laughs> the first pro I always talk about is a tax-free system. You don't get to, you don't get any salary deductions for taxes or anything, so it's tax-free. Secondly, it's a multicultural environment. You get to work with so many different cultures. You become because the UAE is a hub and it has so many different nationalities, over 200 different nationalities here. So you get to work with different people. I think this is an advantage for some people though. The third, you might get housing provided for you, that's accommodation provided for you or housing allowance for you. Fourth, you might get transport provided for you or transport allowance. Fifth, you get to work in a high standard environment. The nursing care level, the healthcare system here is highly organized and developed, much more better than what we have back home in Africa and Asia. So you get to work in a high standard environment with good equipment and materials at your disposal. The seat advantage is free air ticket back home after completing one year or two years of your work depending on your company. So if you complete one or two years of your work in a particular facility, it is included in your contract. So if this is included in your contract, that you are liable to a one to a free ticket back home after one year or two years, you will get free ticket back to your home, to your home after one year or two years, not to USA or to Canada. So you get this advantage of getting a free ticket round trip ticket to home and back after completing one or two years of work the seventh i mentioned five and six and seven this is the seventh reason the seventh advantage is that it promotes career upgrading the longer you work here the more opportunities you have of getting better positions and of getting better salaries because you have gathered the uae experience over the years the eighth reason is that they have, they give you a gratuity, you get a gratuity at the end of service. If you complete your maybe two years or three years contract, you get a gratuity at the end of service. If you complete more than that, you get even more gratuity at the end of your service. The ninth reason, nine advantage is that you have a lovely home a lovely place here to call home there are so many places to visit there are so many touristic areas there are so 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 many out of work things activities that you can do to keep you busy and to keep you funky so it's a good place to live in and to work so fiona is not here today to sugarcoat united arab emirates mm -mm. There are also disadvantages of living and working here, yeah. And one of the, the first disadvantage I want to talk about is the heat. 
United Arab Emirates is a desert area, so it can get really hot at some point in the year. It can get as hot as 55 degrees centigrade. No jokes, no exaggerations. So you can get this hot. The second disadvantage is their visa system. You cannot get a visa on your own. It's difficult to get a visa on your own. You can either get a freelance visa, that's what you have on your own, or an employment visa, which is more the most popular. So in order to get residence here, you must pay for a freelance visa, or you must get residence through an employer. That's a sponsored visa. You do not get the visa by maybe living here for a long number of time or by working here for a particular number of years, no. So the visa system here is a bit different. And if you exceed your stay here after your visa expiration, you get to pay fines. So this is really different from other countries. That's the second disadvantage, the visa system here. Third, there's no possibility of getting citizenship. Live in the United Arab Emirates for 100 years and you still remain a foreigner, you still remain an expat, you will not get citizenship. The fourth disadvantage is that you are considered a second class citizen. Locals here are those who are originally United Arab Emirates born, they are United Arab Emirates citizens. You coming as a foreigner, you are a second class citizen. But worse still, you coming from Africa or Asia, you are a bit um, looked upon like, you are looked upon like being a bit lower than the locals, which is okay, but also lower than those from first world countries. Yeah, so those from first world countries are usually given more priorities. That's why I mentioned passport in the salary expectations. There are some experts from different countries that will have the same role with you, but they will earn double or triple your salary simply because of the passport you hold. So that's another disadvantage in UAE. Another disadvantage is that it's difficult. There is no possibility of getting two or more jobs working here because you are under the sponsorship of your employer. You practically belong to that employer and you're not allowed to work for another employer while you're with your current employer who provided you your employment visa. So back home from in Africa, we have so many family responsibilities and all, and we really want to work hard and make extra income in order to be able to take care of our family responsibilities back home. But here, UAE doesn't really give you that opportunity to be able to work for one employer and work for another at the same time. It's considered illegal. While working in a multicultural environment is an advantage to some, it could be a disadvantage to others. Because you might find yourself working among people who are not from your area and you need to learn how to be able to work with persons like this because they have different ways of um, reasoning, they have their own different kinds of culture and also you need to learn how to work with these people. So working in an environment where you are maybe the only person who is a bit different might be a bit challenging for some people, but sure you can dress it. But this might be considered an, a disadvantage to some other people. The last disadvantage I want to talk about is that United Arab Emirates, Dubai in particular, is generally very expensive compared to what we are used to having back home and all the likes. It's quite expensive working and living here. So you have to deal with these expenses. You have to manage your lifestyle to meet up with the expenses and also to meet up with your family responsibilities back home. So this is pretty much the advantages and disadvantages of living and working in the United Arab Emirates. Can you let me know in the comments if you learned one or two things on this video? If you have any more advantages or disadvantages about the UAE that you know of, that you want us to learn from you about, just leave it in the comments. I hope I've been able to answer your queries about how much you can earn in the UAE as a nurse or a nurse assistant. Stay tuned for our next video, which will be on the living costs in UAE because you need to have an idea of how much you'll be spending per month from these salaries you might be, you will be earning at the end of the month thank you so much for watching our videos and don't forget to subscribe 
like and share our videos we appreciate all your support see you in the next videos i remain at mofuna register nurse working in dubai bye bye